Hey there, good afternoon. I am Jeff, the Misunderstood Boy Genius, and today we're going to build the VW Bug Beetle roof rack. Made in China. You can find this one on Amazon. Um, I think I found this on eBay, and it was $170 or best offer. It had free shipping, and I think I offered um, $100. Sixty dollars. That was. I think I finally got to like a hundred and sixty-five dollars. So I got five dollars off with free shipping. And uh, we're gonna open this up and we're going to uh, see how we do this. The, the first thing you'll notice is that it's in a lot of pieces, and it does have uh, instructions and comes with all the tools, which is kind of unusual. It comes with the uh, the wrench. Um, Actually, not. That wouldn't be all the tools, would it? Because it also has some nuts and some other things. So we'll, uh, well, let's go ahead and start here. Let's open this up and take out the, be the bits. Um, really, we've just got two big metal pieces. Uh, some rails under tape. The, the wooden lath, and I understand people will get these remade in nice hardwoods or, you know, varnish them, uh, whatever. We're just going to put this together right now as it sits, as the instructions blow away. And there's our hardware. So there's everything right there. I'll pull this out of the packaging and uh, bring you back. Okay, even though this came with an Allen wrench uh, in here. Uh, I went ahead and got my better Allen wrenches, a couple other adjustable wrenches, and some more of my tools here to use some better better tools. But first instruction: install two long cross tubes, center cross tube into the end assembly. See figure two, and that's these cross here too. Uh, these these guys. So. Install the center into here and uh, a couple other, well, oh, I see. So there's two long, nope, what's the deal? Yes, there's two long, there we go, the longs, okay, there's two longs and a short, put the short in, there we go like that. And we got our short in. And then there's two longs like this. And I forgot one of those guys. We'll come over here. That. And like that. The one thing I will say about this is the finish on this is actually Really nice. That's upside down. These want to turn over, so watch that. <laughs> All right, we gotta get some nuts in there. <clears throat> screw the washer from the top, and then attach another washer and a nut screw from the bottom. Leaf fasteners only finger tight at this time. And there's a lot of fasteners here. This big pack. I'm imagining is for the, uh, well, I don't know. Doesn't tell you which ones. Um, there's only one, two, three, four, five of these. So I imagine they're for something specific. Um, there's a million of these. Let's do this thing where we kind of lay them out. Ooh, hey, better yet. I'll be right back. This is why you always pick up your free item at Harbor Freight. Those are all kind of magnetically bound in there now. So here's the, the lovely Allen wrench you get. But these all kind of look the same. So I'm going to through on 
one side here. Follow the instructions and leave it loose for now. move just enough to, to get that all in. All right, I'm going to put a nut and a washer on the bottom. I'll bring it back once I've done that. Okay, phase two. Install two cross tube support arms to the top of the cross channel each side with arm curving up. See figure three. I'm, I'm imagining this, this, this part right here. Yeah. I'm also imagining you want to put the curved part, you know, the the, uh, the nice huge chart. You, you want the nice part to the outside. In, in fact, the uh, the little mount here is kind of beveled as such. That falls out too. So, what's three? Install the cross channels and leave fasteners only tight. Finger tight. So you want to put these in and the, the same routine with the nuts. So I'll bring it back when I've got that in too. Okay, those guys are all in. What's step four? Install the cross channels and leaf fasteners with that. Okay, step five. Insert one end of the wood slot with arch facing up, ends of channels touching work surface, into the cross channels side to side, continue for all slots. When installing the third slot in from each end, use the longer M5 by 25 screw and install a cross tube support arm to the top of the cross channel. Screw the washer from the top and then attach another washer nut to the screw at the bottom. Leave fasteners only finger tight. See figure four. Support arm. We'll figure out what support arm is when we get there because the pictures are terrible. Was there something we were supposed to put on? There it is. So these are the support arms. And these longer screws. Oh. There's some longer screws, and I see I put some long ones on here. So there's a support arm here that's supposed to be on here. And this is supposed to go like that. Something like that, like that. Something. That's my guess. So I'm going to... It's pretty easy to see which ones are longer. Like there's a long one, and here's a long one. So I got two long ones on there. I'll put these guys on here. I can do that pretty easily. And uh, I'll bring you back again. This is a problem with badly, well, let's just say poorly uh, translated instructions. I don't even know if they were translated. Someone who had some Pretty good English skills put it together, but we'll we'll put this on here and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we got the right screws in there. We got the support arms in here. And now we got the slats. And like I said at the beginning, some people take and they refinish these. Um, they have them, you know, varnish. There's a little bit of varnish on here. Um, we're just gonna go with these right now. Yeah, it said curve side out. Oh, curve side out, so it's flat one side and has a, uh, a nice beveled edge on the other and so we're going to put these in here like and we'll do the same thing trick with the screws again here Thank you. 
six. So somewhere there's not supposed to be a washer. I imagine it's here. Okay, so as I get 44 washers, I counted and I'd need 56 to have washers everywhere. Uh, I probably have washers where I don't need washers. So let me check that out and I'll bring you back once I've kind of deciphered the instructions better. Okay, if you want your hardware count to come out right, the tubes do not have washers. Anything associated with the wood slats has washers. And this didn't look right anyway. I was like, why do they have a big flat washer on this tube that's just going to stick out and look stupid? So uh, I took those off and sure enough, put these back on and washers top and bottom uh, on anything associated with the wood slats and it comes out perfect. All right. Next step, according to the instruction, is carefully align all the tabs and shafts, of course, by your fire blah, 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 blah. Install the clamps on end assembly by unscrewing wing nut and sliding into threaded stud up through the tube, center rig, reinstall wing nut, but don't tighten. Install plastic protectors on rack feet. Uh, the feet of the rack should sit on the rain gutter once positioned. You uh, properly Hook clamps under rain gutter and door opening with doors and tighten wing nuts. Now with rack in position on car, use heck wrench to provide an eight millimeter wrench to tighten all the fasteners on the rack. So I'm gonna put the, uh, uh, the clamps on. And the wing nut. I don't know if any of this is stainless steel. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it. Why isn't there a washer there? And what are these bolts for? Are these extras? I guess these are spares. I'll keep those. Or they go somewhere else and it wasn't clear in the instructions where they were went. But you know what? We already had perfectly enough nuts and bolts for all of this. So I, I couldn't tell you. And then we want to take the tape ridden. Oh, at least it comes off easily. I gotta say, you know, I, I, I want to review this too. The, uh, the paint is pretty nice. The, uh, the fit seems pretty nice too. Everything so far has gone on there really well. There's these little vinyl feet that go on here that could be a lot smaller, smaller, shorter than they are. They really stick, so you gotta kind of put them on there, but they, they stick out a little bit. I don't know if I would trim that or not. Probably will, because that's what I do. But the nice thing is they're they're kind of sticky. Might not be nice on the car, I don't know. I also went to the hardware store and bought some extra tubing because I didn't read the instructions and didn't notice it came with tubing. 
So I've got some more tubing. If this doesn't work out, a little bit thicker than this. This is, you know, what came with it. We'll see how it works. So there we are installed on the car. And this is where the, the fit and finish kind of is. You can see, focus, there we go. That foot doesn't quite all go all the way down in there. The, uh, the front uh, and the rear do okay. And around this side, the, uh, the rear foot's in there, the, the front foot's in there, but again, the back, or the middle, excuse me. It's kind of not in the right spot. This wasn't marked front or back. I could uh, probably turn it around and see, but I imagine it's just a, a matter of doing some bending and, and pulling on this. Hey, my uh, partner did notice one thing, that the front vertical support, whatever you want to call that, and the middle and the back are different sizes. This one's longer and you know the slope of a beetle is kind of level here and then slopes down here at the back so this is definitely the back so if you build one of these uh, make sure you get the back on the back and then I need to tighten up um, you know all of the nuts and bolts here but I'll do that and bring you back and give me a, give you my final thoughts on this So here's what I think. Uh, for around 170 bucks shipped, this is a great deal. Um, the paint is good. The finish on it's nice. Construction's not too hard. Um, there are a million and a half. Oh, wind, sorry. <clears throat> there are a million and a half of these tiny screws, but uh, I used a lot longer, 2.5 millimeter hex driver, a hex wrench, and uh, a nice quarter inch socket. Uh, not quarter inch, but eight millimeter uh, socket on my quarter inch drive, and it went together great. Seems sturdy. The, um, the fit is not brilliant, <laughs> if I'm to be honest. Um, the fit's okay. Uh, the feet are a nice touch that it actually came with those. I'm not pleased so much with the center, but again, this fix any beetle. I don't know if Volkswagen changed the, the, the roof a little bit over the years. No idea. Um, they may have, but uh, I doubt it <coughs> since all the parts are kind of interchangeable. It doesn't fit that great, but it, it's on there good and tight. My doors, you know, open and close. Uh, we'll see what it sounds like in the wind, but really, if you like roof racks and like the look, which I do, hard to see from this angle, the sun's doing things in the background there. Uh, I really like it. So, you know, I hope this helps you. If you've been looking at this on eBay or Amazon and, and wanted to get one, here it is. And uh, here's what it looks like on a half finished beetle. And, uh, you know, if you like the patina thing with, <laughs> this one's this one's really patinaed out right now. It's got the primer patina and a yellow fender. Uh, this will be changing in a couple weeks here. But if you like, if you like the way that lure fracks look, uh, this looks great. It's less than the uh, price of a of a old stock one, you know, a, a, an old VW one or some of the the metal ones. I like the wood slats. Oh, one thing I did do on this is I tightened these up enough so that the wood slat doesn't move in there, so it's not going to vibrate. Um, I imagine that could be maddening uh, down the road if something starts buzzing up here. We'll see how it does on the road, but uh, right now, that's great. All right, well, thanks for joining me. A little bit of time spent with the Beetle, putting on a roof rack, listening to the wind today. Let me come around here. It might block the wind a little bit, but... Uh, you guys have a great day and be sure to like, share, wait, like, that's like, share, and uh, enjoy this video. Make some comments too. If you don't like roof racks, go for it. If you like roof racks uh, and you want to know questions about this one, 
go for it too. We'll talk to you later. Have a great evening.